What up, big kids? Sean Long here, and we're live right now. And um, man, the city lights really do make a difference. Um, I need um, where this light is right here, and ooh, ah, 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 no, <laughs> but uh, no, this, these things are really great. They, the actual bulb is like way down here. It's a uh, softbox lights. So if, if anyone knows lighting, get these on Amazon for a really great deal. Oh man, do I need a shave? I oh, know. I don't know if I, I like whether being having a beard or clean shave. I like a little scruff anyway. It's my birthday or it was my birthday yesterday. Um, had a birthday dinner with family and then saw Terminator um, Dark Fate twice uh, for a second time with my brother Josh. Um, and hey Zobi and hey uh, Mega Tulu and ASR Pro Productions and Arkham Williams. Thank you so much for joining the show. So these aren't birthday presents except to myself. So yeah, because besides my dad's treating me the red lobster tomorrow, and then my mom made me actually steak and lobster, uh, which was amazing. I actually had leftovers tonight. Um, and then I got treated to a movie. So that's been my only presents. No one's got me anything. Um not that I know of. I don't have a PO box anymore. Um like I even when I did have a PO box, hardly anyone sent me anything, and it just was more money to keep it open than the for it to warm. But anyway, that's okay. Um, before I start the live unboxing, so a lot of things I'll open up. Some one thing, like the thing right here, is already kind of unboxed, but uh, I'll open up because I'm really excited for it. Um, and I'll show off other things. So it's kind of like we'll do unboxing and reviews for all the things. I think it's a total of five items of the things I got here. Um, and also show off what the video, if you can see um, this guy right here. Uh, ooh, crap. This is from the Pure Arts, the T-800 from Terminator 2. The T-800 endoskeleton face mask art. It has um, low lights. I'm trying to find the other button in here. I actually have a video I've been working on. I'll post tomorrow. Oh, that is so cool. So cool. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think if I shave, they look even younger. Um, yeah, and definitely start eating better a little bit. Not that I've been eating horribly, but um, uh, I haven't been going to the gym and working uh, and um, eating as healthy as I used to. So I want to try to get back, especially before Thanksgiving or after a lobster, because tomorrow, yeah, endless shrimp. <laughs> but um, oh crap! I forgot I had a coffee because I'm like really thirsty and chewy. Uh, you can see right there, it's a little me owner, uh, Petco, I think it's Petco or PetSmart, like little chew toy. And he actually opened it up and uh, he's like doing hella damage on it. Get it? Hella damage on me owner. He's going to do what hella did. Straight edge keeps you on. Yes, exactly. So real quick, let me promote this live show. And um, I show off the thing from Pure Arts, which I'm going to do a little video, like a little review slash um comedy video which i've been working on um it'll be kind of like part of my new series which i'll start this week my little video series so hold on let me i can't i want to share this my god can i just share the videos youtube i swear they they change things and i'm like trying to oh here we go the link i just want to share the Peaky video and i'm watching the ad I, I don't know watching my own ad will help the video anyway. I just want to share this on my Facebook and Instagram or Twitter and everything. Yeah, so give me one quick second, guys. Sorry. It's like I should have done it before I started the show, but I went live and before I got the link to it. Yeah, so here we go. Live now. Doing... Um, Birthday hall unboxing. Okay, cool. All right, and one quick thing. Okay, I'll show off the uh, the um, what's it called? Oh yeah, thank you, Aiden and F Cheeto B and oh John, miss you, John. Uh, by the way, so a little thing, and well, John's the greatest. I miss him so much. And by the way, I hope. Like, if you need help disciplining the kids, John, I'll help you on. You have a Terminator dog? <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly. My good boy. 
good boy. I call him Carl. Carl, Carl. <laughs> Anyone that watches uh, Terminating Dark Fate will know that. Well, and also walking in. Anyway, um, so um, I wanted to. Um, looks like you're sitting like a dog. Oh yeah. Um, the same as your first video. Oh, thank you. Um, so I wanted to go to Disneyland on my birthday, which was Dapper Day uh, yesterday. And um, fortunately, um, well, two things. I had, okay, so here's the thing, you guys. So this goes in a story. And this is like going to be a long show, so don't worry. A show and long show. Anyway, um, I had two guys. Um, and I know, right? Well, we'll try to do in April and next year for sure, John. I know I wanted to go so bad, but I, I didn't want to go to Dapper Day by myself. You know, I want to either go with friends or, um, you know, with a date ideally, but yeah, but it's okay. So, but even if I, even if I had a date or someone to go with, um, so I, you know, I've been working hard. I finally paid off my final payment of my deposit moving into this place because it was costly moving i had a deposit i didn't get my old deposit back from my old place because i broke my lease moving here anyone knows the logistics of moving that always sucks yeah and um and yeah so it's very costly i've been selling a bunch of stuff and most of that money has been going towards rent bills deposit so i had a of uh, one figure I was gonna, I had uh, uh, two different figures that from two different guys that were supposed to pay me before my birthday or by my birthday. So I can use that towards either Dapper Day or just birthday stuff. Ow, and I just hit myself in the nose. Ow, what the hell? My God, I hate when I do that. I hope I don't have a bloody nose now. Um, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And um, so, um, yeah, so one guy who's bought a bunch of stuff without me, yeah, he, he messaged me today and he well he originally said he was gonna pay me one I did a uh a, a toy show on Sunday at Toy uh, not Sunday at to, a Toy Fusion a few uh week a couple weeks ago and he said uh he would have more money, so he'll leave at Toy Fusion and he'll pay me by Wednesday and then he said that got delayed and it's okay it'll be Saturday, okay, it'll be by next week. And he said he'd be due by Saturday before my birthday, and he didn't do it. So now he said he'll get paid tomorrow, and they'll send it because, yeah. Then, And then this other guy who has done this now, this is his third time he's done it. He said back when I was moving back in September, he was going to buy my Hot Toys Edward Scissorhands figure. And he then, then he totally bell on me and didn't get back to me. Then he said he wanted to get my Elvis figure a month ago. And then... Uh, bailed on me and didn't get back to me. Then he got back to me and said, no, I really do want to. I'll have the money by November 1st. No, and I I keep reminding him days before and all that stuff. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, John uh, John is so great in town. He's a beautiful man. I love him. And I'm really happy that he's been getting healthier and stuff. And um, anyway, I, and I love you, John. Um, and uh, so this one guy, uh, November 1st comes on. He totally hasn't get back to me. And just, yeah, that was three strikes you're out. Three times he said he was going to buy a figure for me, especially a figure that costs like over, you know, close to $400. And yeah, I'm just so pissed off. So I had two people that were supposed to die, uh, buy the equivalent of like $500 worth of, of things for me. And I didn't get it. So I had to work actually uh, extra hours on my birthday to make sure I had not only the money for my rent and deposit, but also just for a little bit of running money till hopefully I get my money tomorrow. So yeah, that, that really sucks because it sucks when you depend on money from people. Um, especially you're trying to balance out everything. It's like, okay, as long as the person gets me this money and I work this many hours, I can do this because all this stuff I have here, I had this on pre-order and it all came in together and so that i almost i had to actually cancel some pre-orders for some other things like some the marvel legends thor build a figure because those guys didn't buy the stuff that i want to get so i would even had more stuff to unbox but i i i had to cancel it because otherwise i wouldn't have been able to pay my rent and deposit and 
and have running money. So I only have like, unless I decided to work tonight, which I was hoping to finally give myself like a weekend, you know, I worked um, Wednesday through Saturday night up until Sunday morning, my birthday. So anyway, that's a little um, thing. So a little teed off from that. If you say you're going to buy stuff from me um, and I'm like, don't tell me unless you're for sure and you're going to have the money otherwise. It's just not cool, you know, because people really depend on it. Anyway, so let's get into some more happier things. So before I do the unboxing, so this is from Pure Arts. I'm going to do a video of it, my next video. So this is amazing. Um, so I would have done like a live unboxing for this. I Maybe I should have. Um, and you can check out www.purearts.com um, and check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Pure Arts, like official, I believe, is their Instagram and Facebook. So this is made from Polystone and some other, it's like mixed media. Uh, the T800 Endoskeleton, it's a art face mask. So you can see this is how it looks. It actually comes off here. This is, made, you know, like a one, one, one scale or life-size replica. And I take it off so the bladders don't work. So can't wear it like a mask, but it, yeah, you can see, yeah, it looks like me. Yeah, actually, I'm spoiling one of my jokes from the video. So you place it on this awesome stand. You can actually place it on the stand like this way too, but you have to like, um, it has like the back here for three screw holes, uh, screw holes. That's what she had. Anyway, no, I can, I'm trying to make that dirty and it wasn't that dirty. Um, so you put that in here and it, you put in three AA batteries, press the little skulls in here, really nice detail on the base. Um, I'll have like a proper video on it. Just want to show this off. This retails for about three hundred and eighty nine dollars, so not too bad. I mean, yeah, it's you know pricey, but you know this is like a statue, high end collectible replica. Yeah, you can't wear it, but the fact it has light up features, you press the little skull right here for the eyes. So you turn on, turn it off, uh, and then press this one, lights up the base. So that's really cool. So I'll keep this in the background. So thank you to Pure Arts. Um, yeah, make sure to check them out and I'll, I'll have their link in the description. Um, yeah, this is really awesome. And by the way, Terminator Dark Fade, I, I could easily, how was your birthday? Oh, I had my mom made me lobster and steak and I saw Terminator Dark Fade. I'll do a mini review before I get into the unboxing stuff. Um, yeah, so um, Terminator Dark Fate, it's like I'm so conflicted about the movie. There's the thing that happens at the beginning of the movie, and I could spoil it, but I won't just in case you haven't seen it. But it really, I hated what they did. It really made, me, made it hard to, um, to enjoy the movie. Um, I love the cast. Uh, seeing my, uh, Linda Hamilton and of course Arnold who I met earlier uh, a couple months ago um like he he was awesome um and uh, Linda Hamilton was amazing she actually had some parts that actually like got really emotional and the action was really great Gabriel Luna is a great Rev 9 that's what they're calling his new Terminator um and yeah Mackenzie Davis was amazing and badass and um, but yeah, so like, but the movie is just like every Terminator movie since the f first one, uh, except for Terminator Salvation. And yeah, it's, it's all the same plot. It's all a protector going back to save, you know, someone from getting killed, change the feature. So it's all like the same movie, just with different tweaks in the last I don't like Terminator Genesis. I was really upset about what they did, and then I'm even more upset what they did. They did. I didn't like what they did to the character in Terminator Genesis, and I really didn't like what they did with Terminator Dark Fate. And it feels like they're doing a soft reboot, like a Force Awakens thing. So, yeah. How do you have? Well, back when uh, the reason I had so many hot toys, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, John. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. It was, to a lot of us, including myself, Terminator 2 is when the franchise, that's when the series ended. Really, James Cameron didn't want to make any Terminators after Terminator 2. 
it ended the series perfectly. We won. And every Terminator movie, whether it was Rise of the Machines, Salvation, Genesis, and of course, Dark Fate, which is supposed to be the proper sequel to Terminator 2, it really, it's hard to enjoy Terminator Dark Fate because it really craps on Terminator 2. And I don't like that because Terminator 2 is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a masterpiece. And it's what they did in Terminator Dark Fate, they didn't have to do. They can easily did like even more of what like The Force Awakens did, like a passing of the torch or kind of like Terminator Sarah, Con Sarah Connor Chronicles. And it doesn't always have to be about John Connor and Sarah Connor. Like they were trying to do that in this movie, but it could have been like Skynet or whoever Legion wants to send back and stop another part of the resistance. Because if you're AI, uh, army, whatever, like that's trying to stop humanity. You wouldn't just stop one human. You would try to stop all the important humans. Right. So John Connor is the savior, but at the same time, you know, just like any, uh, hierarchy or just like army or, you know, there's like, you know, like saying star Wars, if Luke Skywalker is gone, doesn't mean there's not going to be someone to stop the dark side. Right. So if John Connor is gone, doesn't mean that, the machines can't be stopped, you know? So anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, same with John. I think I give it a seven. I would totally give the movie like, uh, you know, people are saying it's the best since Terminator 2 and it is in a sense, but I just don't like, I feel like I like the tone and the action and the acting, but I just don't like the decisions they make. Like, if we didn't have any other Terminator movies, like Terminator, Rise of Machines, or Genesis, or or Salvation, which Salvation at least did something different. And like, Salvation actually wasn't the, like, Terminator 1, 2, 3, Genesis, and Dark Fate. It was actually different. And I at least applaud that, even if it wasn't, like, a, uh, it, even though it was a flawed film. Yeah, I, I've actually... I, to me... The way I would rank the Terminator movies, okay, before Dark Fate. So the way I would rank the Terminator movies, Terminator 2, Terminator 1, Terminator Salvation, Terminator 3, Terminator Genesis. But now with Dark Fate, I guess it would be 2, 1. Um, I I probably would still say Terminator Salvation, then Terminator Dark Fate, then Term Terminator uh, three, then Terminator, uh, Genesis. Yeah. So that's how I would rate them. Yeah. Salvation. Um, I really enjoyed the action scenes. I thought it was really awesome. I love the cast. I love Christian Bell's John Connor. And, um, I like that it was said in the future, but yeah, I, I just, the thing they did in dark fate really upsets me. Like after seeing the movie twice, I, I feel like, it was such a dumb decision. And the sad thing was the decision was made by James Cameron, which makes me lose very faith in him, which I thought he could do no wrong. I love all his movies, even like Avatar. And, you know, I love Terminator 2, 1, Aliens. Those those are three of my favorite films of all time. I love um, True Lies. I love uh, uh, Titanic. And so, yeah, I really lost a lot of faith in, in, in uh, James Cameron. Anyway. So, yeah, so if I, yeah, give Terminator Dark Fate like a 7 out of 10, it would have even probably got a 9 if, if we, none of the other Terminator movies existed and they didn't do what they did in the beginning of the movie because I'm still upset about that. They could have went a way different route. They didn't have to do that. Yeah, it's still, yeah. Like, I, I'm just so tired of the same floor. When they, even in Termin when Terminator Rise of Machines came out, which I did really enjoy Rise of Machines, even even though at times it felt like a parody of the series, like Talk to the Hand, and like, uh, when he puts on the sunglasses, it's the star one. It's like, there were so many scenes that were parodies of, um, of, the, of the first Terminator movies, but yeah, Terminator Dark Fate, if it was the first sequel after, um, Terminator 2, it could have been, I would have gave a higher rating and if they didn't do what they did in the beginning of the movie. Like, cause, but it, you do feel like you've seen this before so many times. It reminds you of Terminator 2, even Terminator 3, because 
the Rev Nine is like pretty much the TX, but played by Ghost Rider instead of you know uh, Blood Rain, you know, <laughs> or uh, I forgot who who she played in that Mortal Kombat Conquest series. But yeah, yeah, Kristana Loken, she's awesome. Let's get to toys now. So the one thing you guys have been noticing, I actually got through GameStop, and GameStop had a uh, 20% sale, so I had to take advantage of it. I've been looking for this guy. I am so excited for the series because I love me some Mandalorians, and I got myself the Mandalorian. I'll open this up here. GameStop, that's not cool, man. Why would you do that? Like, at least put it out the. Why don't you put it at the bottom? That's that's you put. That's where the barcode goes. Like, I hate that. It's like if I'm not a mint and sell box collector, but if I was, I'd be so pissed off. But nice picture of the Mandalorian, and um, yeah, it says the Mandalorian. His body is shielded by Baskar armor. His face is hidden behind a T uh, visored mask. His past is wrapped in mystery. The Mandalorian is battle-worn and tight-lipped and formidably bounty hunter in increasingly dangerous galaxy. Awesome. So let's open this up. I'm so thirsty right now, but I want to open this up first. Show off the figure. I might do a video about this when uh, the weekend that it comes out. Oh, yeah. So this is not the... Uh, Graphite or uh, carbonite. One. Oh. I haven't gotten a new Star Wars Black Series figure in a while, but yeah, I'm really happy to have the Mandalorian and show off his accessories. Hasbro has been really killing it with all their figures, with and actually, this other stuff I'm opening will be Hasbro stuff. It's not all Hasbro stuff, but I'll show you in a bit. So let's take a look what we got here. Now, uh, before we get to the figure, which looks awesome. And uh, yeah, cool. I do miss the little antenna thing, like his, uh, I always forget the actual name of it. So he comes with his, his pistol right here. Uh, pretty nice, a nice little paint ups. Then he comes with his, Rifle, which also, from what I saw in the trailer, which the the series has Agent May slash Chung Lee slash uh, Mulan, you know, um, Ming Nong Wen, she's awesome. I met her uh, a few years ago. So, yeah, let's... Um, now, where's this? Oh, okay, so you can... There's a little hole in the back. You can tab this. So you can leave you tab it like that. Or yeah, it should go in this way, otherwise it would be sticking out like so bad. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Wow, hold on. Hope it's not um it should like it it definitely has a hole there. And the sculpted capes, I'm I'm a little iffy on it. I I wish that they could do uh cloth capes for these but you know it's not too bad i am just i'm always a fan of cloth capes versus plastic capes okay cool oh well it did work for a second so you can yeah yeah i know exactly john it was drowning plot holes it yeah i mm, yeah i know yeah D danny yeah yeah, so um, yeah, it has a little tab. It's supposed to, ugh. well, it's supposed to like tab like here, you know. So that's a little thing here. But I do love the the paint apps on this. It's really nice. So let's show off the figure, and then um, oh here he does have a holster which you can put his pistol in. So I'm gonna do that. Always love when action figures have weapon storage. And it actually like has a holster for it. So he has a holster uh, for both weapons, but the 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 back uh, hole isn't working as bad. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, so yeah, here's the Mandalorian. I know it's it's so hard because I'm using the webcam, but um, yeah, really love the paint apps. Love the armor, the strap. 
Very nice detail. Hot Toys is also making one. I might pick that up, but I don't know for sure. I I love the look of him, and the trailer looks amazing, but um, I do have a Hot Toys Boba Fett, but I will see how I feel watching the show before I invest, like, you know, $250 in a character that... But ironically, the Mandalorian will have more character development than Boba Fett ever did in his movie. So, yeah. So let's... um. Okay, so how do you hold this thing? Okay, so he kind of, like, has... Okay, so let me try to... Oh, well, let's do the articulation. Oh, my God, it's getting warm in here. Sorry, you guys. Hold on. Let me grab my coffee, too. I'm, like, so thirsty right now. Oh. I'm warm because I have like two studio lights on me. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at the figure. It's very nice. I live it. Always wish that these had double joint elbows though. So, yeah, I do love the paint apps and the cape. He looks so cool. Such a badass. The bounty hunters, or especially Mandalorians, are pretty much space cowboys with awesome helmets but they pretty much i mean look look at it besides the helmet what would you think it, it's totally a, a cowboy the mandalorian is going to be a space western it's like you know serenity or uh, firefly you know but yeah that's that's what we i would don't mind that at all so yeah let's take a look articulation his head can fully rotate looks up really good looks down really good little side pivot it's a very great head articulation his arms can fully rotate. Ooh, he can go in and out. The shoulder pad does go into the armor or uh, the top of him. So that's cool how it moves. I like that. So that looks really cool. You just have to kind of put this down once, it, you know, otherwise, yeah, it's going to kind of look a little off. So he bends 90 Degrees at the elbow, rotates at the elbow, rotates at the wrist, goes in and out. He has that diaphragm joint. You got to be careful of the strap, though. But moves and it pivots side to side and forward to back. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I always wanted a, a, you know, I always feel like the Mandalorian should have been the Boba Fett, you know. Show, but whatever. It's a who knows. Maybe Boba Fett will show up if he wasn't eaten by the Sarlacc. You know, <laughs> depending on what they decide. So now his legs do go in and out. He can do this almost do the splits. Goes only forward that much. Sadly, this leg can go forward a little bit more because of the design of the armor. Rotates at the um, hips or upper part of the leg. He does spend two points at the knee. And he is, he goes camp pivot forward and back. He has an ankle pivot side to side. So let me do the pose of him holding his rifle, looking awesome. Yeah, hopefully, I can do that. Worry about some paint rub from the. Um... Luckily, Hasbro is always good with their hands being. A little bit more pliable than um, others. You should never, for hands, ever, ever use hard plastic. It just makes no sense, especially for smaller figures. Okay, and yes, nice fit on his rifle. And now, trying to um, <laughs> hold on. Let me. Let me see, where's his joint on this, yeah. Okay. Now I'm trying to turn, ooh. Okay, so I'm trying to do the two-handed pose. Mm. Black series are always a little bit more trickier than, um, but I got it. Okay, yep. And there you go. Kind of, um, you know, it's always just a matter of 
moving things around. But and there you go. He's the man, DeLorean. Yes, looking awesome. I definitely will put him with my bounty hunter display. Definitely hope to get IG11 voiced by Taika Waititi. So I'm really excited. How many total points? I really don't care. I just like the word. Oh, articulation. Yes. John, I'm so excited for The Mandalorian. I'm definitely getting Disney Plus, you guys. Cannot wait. I'm actually excited for The Mandalorian and The Lady in the Trap movie as well. Dude, just think about it. Okay, yes, not at launch will we get every Marvel movie, and we're going to get almost every Star Wars movie minus uh, Solo and Last Jedi. But, um, but we are getting like pretty much every Disney live action animated movie ever made, plus so many series like Boy Meets World to Avengers Earth's My Tales to 90s X Men, the animated series, Spider Man, the animated series, Iron Man, the animated series, uh, The Simpsons, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, like. We're getting so many great movies and TV shows. Like just all that alone. Uh, on, on oh, and all every Pixar movie, every um, yeah. And like it, it, I'm just so excited, you guys. I cannot wait. I just cannot wait. So let's unbox the next thing. You don't know what this is. I know what this is because I'm excited. So let's change things up from a different company. Oops. And I really appreciate that John being here. You are awesome, John. I wish YouTube had like a co-hosting thing or I always forget if it does, but I would totally would do that. But John, you like you talk for a living, like with your amazing voice. With John, I love his default voice. Uh his honest trailer voice is of course awesome, but I love John's regular voice. He is so funny, such a sweet guy. He works so damn hard uh providing for his family. He has a beautiful family. And um, yeah, exactly. John, you do perform for Lady. You're an actor. John, who also voiced Shockwave and Soundwave in Bumblebee, the best Transformers movie. Don't fight me on that. I really do. Bumblebee is my hands on my favorite Transformer movie. Forget the 87 movie that just broke my heart. Or yeah, it was 86 or 86 movie. Sorry. Um, forget. The 2007 first live action Transformer movie, the best Transformers movie, um, was the one that John was in because that gave us everything we wanted in a live action Transformers movie. At heart, I actually teared up in that movie and wasn't crying because they killed off my favorite character like they did in the 86 movie. Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I love Bumblebee. I, I want to get the three. A30, whatever, um, um, collectible Optimus Prime Bumblebee and Blitzwing figures. Yeah, they don't transform, but they look amazing. I hope that Hasbro does studio series of every version of, or every Bumblebee version of those characters. I want the, the Soundwave, Shockwave, Starscream, uh, Wheeljack, Ironhide, RC, Brawn. <laughs> I want all those in action figure form, even if they're just like a Cybertronian mode. I just want them. I want that sound wave so bad. Sound wave looked perfect. John sounded perfect as sound wave. I know it's effects, but even Frank Walker had to use effects for sound wave. So, and I wanted him to sound like sound wave, not just like Dr. Claw. And even though Frank Walker actually voiced sound wave in. Dark of the Moon and Re Revenge of the Fallen. It was his Dr. Claw voice before they put the modular effects and stuff. Exactly, John. Oh, oh well, yeah. Well, and uh, the Jorsk, um, I agree, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Adam Goldberg, yes. I love the Goldberg. So, uh, But yeah, I love Bumblebee and John. You're amazing, man. I can't praise him enough. So let's get to the next thing we got. It's Broly. It's a Dragon Ball Super Broly. Um, this is just Broly Super. Um, it's a uh, fully charged, I guess, full power Broly. This is just oh, excuse me, regular Broly. Yeah, so let's take a look at this. This is awesome. Really love the packaging. 
I got this from Amazon. Normally you get it from BigBadToyStore.com, but um, I during the time this was sold out at Big Bad Toy Store, so I got this on pre-order from Amazon, and it came in. The this actually I got this on my birthday, so yeah, very cool. This was delivered on my birthday, and I'm really excited because I love the full power Broly, but yeah, this um this one I'm just so excited for. So um. Super modeling, super action. I always love uh, super modeling, <laughs> super action. Yeah, so yeah. By the way, guys, I really appreciate everything. I've been honest. I was super depressed leading up to my birthday. I don't like being 36 and single, no family. But I feel a lot better now. I, I had spent some time with family. Um... All my friends, I got so many friends, family, fans wish me happy birthday. It really means a lot, and I feel better now. I, I'm okay being single normally. I mean, obviously, it's not ideally what I want, but I'm okay being single. But when it was my birthday, it just it was really painful, to be honest. It was emotionally, like, killing me. Like, I was just I, – I didn't want to – Part of me just didn't want to live through another birthday being single and getting older without family, but I'm okay now. And um, I'm trying to find this uh, new therapist and um, really get, you know, work on my mental health and stuff. Honestly. But yeah, I feel a lot better now. Okay. So let's open Broly. So we got the Mandalorian. So, wow. So it shows all his accessories. He comes with three heads. They all look different. So you can display him in mode one, two, or three and before he gets in his full power. And then he comes with a total of six hands or uh, three pairs of hands, like more like a gripping hands and more full power so it's like one pair of hands is like this and one pair is like like that and it does make a difference you know and then this yeah so let's take a look at the figure and i'll show off the heads oh and he does come with this collar too nice um what's her name oh i forgot her name like broly's like Love interest. Uh, Chi I was not Chi Chi. Um, Leech. Oh, God, I always forget. But man, anyone know like Dragon Ball Super Broly? I I own the movie. I love the movie. What was her name? Leech. I was not Leech and stuff. Man. By the way, John, talk to the Stardust people because they have have then got back to me. I love to do on Stardust, but I really don't want to do stuff on other platforms. Unless it's either really fun for me or I can, like, you know, get something out of it. And TikTok, oh, man. I I wanted to join TikTok, but a friend kind of ruined it for me because she was way too obsessed about it. And so, like, oh, God. I just, like, I have a bad um, taste in my mouth from TikTok. And she also didn't wish me happy birthday, so I no, was kidding. Yeah. I'm trying to take out this plastic wrap right now, and it's, like, driving me nuts. I hate important companies do this, like, whether it's Bandai or, oh, excuse me, Hot Toys. Like, yeah, you're trying to protect your figure, but at the same time, you're just making it so much harder. <laughs> That's what she said. Mm. It's hard, you guys. All of us, especially us toy guys on YouTube, Depending on how things happen in January, we might not even be doing toy stuff anymore because doing anything with toys or just kid-friendly stuff, yeah, is very much not going to – you won't be able to make a living or even make comments on YouTube with those videos. So we'll see how it goes. I still will – at least a good thing, if I can't do toy stuff on YouTube anymore, then I can just do other stuff I want to do like editorials and skits or whatnot. Oh man, look how awesome this figure. Ah no, I'm just kidding, but yeah. Ah Broly. I love that hair. Yeah, so this is one of his the shoulder pads. 
I love that that Frieza armor. I love the scars on him. The scar paint detail is amazing. Obviously, you can't see the scars on his body, his bulging biceps and stuff. Yeah, I I have it actually in one of these bins that are right next to me right here, the the Super Broly, but I I would have to move a lot of stuff to take out. So, you know, if I ever do a, a, a full video review comparing it, but yeah, it's still, look how awesome that looks. Here, I guess comparing the size, look at, compared to the Marvel Legends Colossus, he's pretty much the same size. Well, maybe a little bit shorter if you don't count his hair, but yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so wow, I really love, yeah. Let's let's take a look at the heads. I'm trying to decide which heads they do. So you get you get three different heads. They each come with one expression, which is okay because it's three different heads. You can so you can literally buy three versions of this figure and stuff. So you can have his base form, which is that's how his hair looks, and a nice stern face. I think that's a good head sculpt for that. And he comes with his collar, the you know his uh, the one that. Um, um, his father, you know, used on him. Your dating sign? Oh, no, I haven't. Um, I should try that out. Thank you, John. Oh, yeah. Um, I, 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 I'll check, John, if you have any pics. It's been so long, man. I, God, I got to see about where those pics are. I think... I forgot if uh, we should have picks. I remember, especially from 2011, um, uh, either 2009 or two. Uh, I think it was it 2009? Yeah, 2009. Yeah, we had all the picks there. Was it was it 2011 or 2009? What was the one when you were eating my chicken, John? You ate my chicken that one time. You took pictures. Oh my god, was that the 2011 botcon? Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, 2010. That's the one we went um, in Florida, and I stayed with you, John, and then went to your wedding before that, um, and then 2011 was the wedding, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, we got his Super Saiyan, not full-powered one, but, yeah, so it's hard. Okay, so the, vote for a head. If you got this figure, which head would you use? Would you use head number one? Base form Broly. Head number two, um, powering up Broly, I guess. Or head number three, Super Saiyan Broly. Which head would you use? Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, very awesome. It's hard to tell which one. Um, also, I have to watch the show. I'll watch the first season, and I'll decide if I can get, if I'll get the Hot Toys Mandalorian and IG Eleven. But if I really, really love the show, yes, because I can save up for them. So let's take a look at the articulation. The head, at least with this head, um, it does get hindered a little bit by the collar. But you can look left or right. Click down really good. You can look up a little bit because of the hair. Uh, little head pivot. Uh, the shoulder pads do go up and down, so you can move them on the back, or you can really move them out of the way if you want to. Um, they can fully rotate. Uh, his arms can fully rotate. He, just, and he has a butterfly joint in and out. can go in and out that much, so that's really good, even with the, the shoulder pads. So I, I kind of like how they did the shoulder pads. They, it's on the back, too, so you can move it around and place it wherever you want to make it look good. And then he, oh man, yeah, he has the bicep swivel, which is a little tight, so watch out. He has two, two points of elbow articulation, but it gets a little over 90 degrees, rotates to the wrist, goes in and out. He does have an ab crunch forward or like a diaphragm joint. Can move. It kind of, yeah, it's like a weird diaphragm. I think, yeah, let me see. Yeah, he kind of, it's because of the armor, it's kind of hard to move the chest thing, but and he does move left and right, and he has the waist joint that moves, uh, rotates left and right. Um, yeah, and then he does have articulation with his skirt slash ear. 
and then it does you can pretty much see the splits um, because of uh, the ear he kind of legs can go out he can pretty much like do a high kick Hi -ya! so that's pretty awesome just kind of gotta go out in an angle and uh, rotates the part leg then two points at the knee oof that the knee that he does in the movie which is awesome and then uh, ankles, let's see. Yeah, ankles can move left to right. They go forward a little bit and go back pretty good. He has a nice ankle pivot side to side and toe articulation. So of course, SH Figure Arts, great articulation. Broly is badass and awesome. It's hard to say which for, I mean, if, you, if you're if you a big fan of uh, um, Dragon Ball, Z legendary Super Saiyan Broly movie Broly, you'll like the full power Broly better because it's more like that one. But I like the armored Broly look a lot, or like his base form. So it's hard to say which one I like better. Probably, of course, like the bigger Broly, but it's just like Goku and Vegeta, you want every version. So this is definitely a must have, and you can get this for like 72 bucks. Big Bad Toy Store does have this on pre order, by the way. All these figures, the Mandalorian, you have to get in a case, but um, Broly is available right now at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description. Yeah, you can get them for $72.99, so 73 bucks. Not bad at all. The, the full power Broly was like, and that one, uh, um, uh, hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, that one sold out. That one was 80 some. As if you want a Broly figure that's in stock now, uh, this is the one to get. So very, very awesome. Yeah, I've been selling. I, I've i actually been selling off all my movie Transformers that aren't Bumblebee because to me, ever since Bumblebee comes out, like I'll say this, you guys. The, I don't hate the Michael Bay movies. They are entertaining for the most part. They got some great action scenes, even though they can be very bloated and crazy, too chaotic at times. But after seeing Bumblebee and how perfect, seeing more realistic G1 versions of the characters I grew up on, I hated that Starscream looks like a fat gray mat, like triangle, whatever he is. I hate Megatron looks way too scary looking. Uh, Ironhide is black instead of red. Sideswipe is silver instead of red. Um, Shockwave is in purple. And um, Soundwave is silver instead of blue. Ravage has one eye. I can go on and on. Uh, Hot Rod being French. Uh, Hound having a beard. It's just like I hate those designs. I hate them so much. Optimus Prime was the only one, and maybe Bumblebee, that looked cool. I mean, they had cool looking ones but they look so weird and then you have like what was the big wheel one uh, the constructicon that wasn't really constructicon but he shows up again at to become devastator even though he was killed and again they just made a studio series of him you like he's just arms and two, demolisher thank you like what the hell was up with demolisher man i just don't get it i hated that like the rc sisters were like wheels too they they did Wheeljack looks like an old man. I hated those designs so much. G1 was, I love those designs. And like, I felt like Bumblebee did exactly what I wanted. They look cool. Um, yeah. Well, in the Bumblebee movie, they call him, they never call him Blitzwing in the movie. So they can always retcon that and bring out Blitzwing. I know Cliff Jumper passed, sadly. That would be hard to explain, but you never know. They brought back Megatron and Optimus Prime numerous times in those movies. So, yeah, I know exactly. So, yeah, we got. So, you can get Dragon Ball Super Broly. So, another awesome figure I'm super happy to get. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I won't get into the whole Vic Mignogna thing. Yeah. 
I met Vic. He's a nice guy. I met Monica, and she's very nice. So I'm not gonna pick sides. I, I just, it's very unfortunate situation. I have nothing against Vic. I have nothing against Monica. That's all I'm gonna say. Now let's get into the last thing to unbox, you guys. This is from GameStop, just like the Mandalorian. I had these things on pre-order, and they just got in stock. Came in. They just came in today, so that's why also I didn't do my unboxing because I wanted to wait. I would have done this on my birthday if these came in uh, earlier. I was hoping they would come in time, but I waited to do my unboxing till I got these. So yeah, but these came out in stock a little bit before my birthday. So yeah, and these I'm so excited for. So and this is oh, did I open it backwards? No, I guess it doesn't matter. So let's go first. It's Shardimus Prime. Yes. I I have. So I was very lucky because I've been collecting Marvel Legends for years. Um, the big time letdown Spider-Man, I have that figure. And now that I have the big time badass Spider-Man, as Shardimus calls it, um, I... Um, I thought about should I sell that one since that one is a letdown or should I keep it because Shardimus has made that figure more famous than it ever was in the comics because this is what the figure we should have gotten so many years ago. This is what was shown at Comic-Con minus, you know, it was a different body, of course. But yeah, I'm so happy that we got this. He looks a bit... Big time, awesome! I, I can't look at this figure or my uh, the other version of the big time Spider Man without thinking that one is the big time letdown Spider Man. This one is the big time badass Spider Man. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, going back to the Transformers will be please make Bumblebee Studio Series, uh, Shockwave, Soundwave, Starscream, Blitzwing. I'm surprised we haven't got Blitzwing. We got two versions of Dropkick, but we didn't get Blitzwing yet. Come on. I don't want any of that crappy Michael Bay Transformers. I want Bumblebee versions of all those. Please, Hasbro, stop making studio series Michael Bay former Bay formers. I want the Bumblebee versions of those. I don't give a crap about building that Devastator. I want to move I want Travis Knight and them to design Devastator how he should be looking, you know? Me too, John. Yeah, GameStop exclusives are the best. I never had any problem getting a GameStop exclusive, except for those um, uh, 90s Ninja Turtles. But luckily, I, I had the Comic-Con one, so it was fine. So, yeah, the big-time badass Spider-Man, you guys. Yeah, I love, uh, like, how the sides of this looking really cool. They, they really should have a bio. It's like Spider-Man, he's the – the bio should just say he's finally become a, a big-time badass after being a, being a big-time letdown for so many years. Uh, also, shout-out to Shardimus Prime. That's what the back of this should say. Um, after losing his spider sense, Peter Parker builds new spider armor to protect himself. Big time Spider Man. I'm surprised it doesn't say big time on here. It should. This is a fan channel exclusive. Get this at GameStop. This is at Big Bad Toy Store right now. Link is in the description if you want to buy this at Big Bad Toy Store. So, yeah, let's get this. But I got this for like 20% off through GameStop. So. I couldn't pass up the deal. And I'll show you the final thing I got here, which is something I've been really looking forward to. So let's open up Big Time Badass Spider-Man. And I'll be calling him that because it's short and miss. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, I, I just feel like I'm playing with short and miss to play up this figure so much. Oh, yes. Woo! Yes. Oh, so badass. I'm just, like, always thinking he's voiced like, by Shardimus now. Like, forget any Spider-Man voice. Yeah. So awesome. I really hope we get a Hot Toys version of this. Oh, my God. You know that Shardimus will be using that so all the time if it's... <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh, 
such a better figure. I love the, the body mold, love the hips, the hands, and yeah. He looks so much better, you guys. Just this is what the Spider-Man we should have gone in so many years ago. And then oh. I feel like if I did a skit on him, I could Charmus this like skits with this guy like in every one of his videos, so I, I can't even touch that, you know what I'm saying? Can't even touch Sh Charmus's big time. <laughs> Big time Spidey. Yeah, you always have to be careful. They get kind of warped, though, out of the packaging, so watch out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I have my... Oop. And he had a big time fall, right? Oh, and he's falling over right now. Hold on. Let me... Okay. Trying to take out the um, other accessories. It's so nice. Um, the because I'm changing things up, I don't have to keep things in box. I can just open them up right away if I choose to. Don't have to keep things in packaging. So, like that's why I do the unboxings because I show. If you want to see what it looks like in packaging? Watch my unboxing videos. Oh, excuse me. Take out this, the flip pans and his. Um. Yeah. So it comes with. Three pairs of hands, wall crawling hands, fist hands, and flippy hands, and the little, you know, spidey booger. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah. Yeah, I know that it. I don't need the Bumblebee statue, but I definitely want the 303A Bumblebee, Optimus, and Blitzwing figures. And if they did, like anyone else, I'll give them to you. Because they're like the hot toys of. Of Transformers, very cool. Here, I'll put um, all right. I got one last thing here, but yeah, show off the figure looking awesome. Charmin shows off this figure in every one of his videos, so you've seen this figure many times. But I'm so happy to have them. Just love the black and green on his shoes, his hands, like it has it on the inside of his hands, and he looks great. This is the figure we should have gone in before. Of course, the articulation, they can look down and up, really good, ball joint and hinge, rotate, and the side pivot has a nice butterfly joint, goes forward and back, really good, uh, in and out that much, rotate at the shoulder, Rotate at the bicep right here, bends at two points at the elbow, rotate the wrist, goes in and out. He does have a nice out crunch forward and back a little bit, and the pain continues really good. Full waist articulation always looks a little bit weird. Watch out for that, but, you know, still very nice. Legs can go forward pretty high. That's awesome. You know, back a little bit, can go in and out. I wish that it could do the splits more. That's one thing, but it can do kind of, like, some really good Spidey poses. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then uh, ankles can pivot forward and back, and there's a beautiful ankle pivot side to side. So this is definitely not a big time letdown. This is definitely a big time badass Spider-Man. Just be careful about warpage. Nice. And then, so happy. Hasbro, it's funny because like most of my unboxing stuff is from Hasbro. By the way, here's the w w wall crawling hands with the circles and the other fist slash rock on whipping hand. Now the last, but certainly not these. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sean. I miss you, man. By the way, I'm still so supporting you on Patreon and stuff. I've been supporting you for Patreon for a long time now, actually. You and Sean Smith are the only ones I support. I actually did support Charmis on Patreon, but he actually said no. Like, you refunded my money. It's like, no, you don't need to. You've supported me enough. So it's like, oh, okay. 
<laughs> but I'd rather support my toy bros than than cosplayers because you know. Anyway, look at this, you guys. This is the mo when this was shown at Comic Con. This was the most my highly anticipated sets because one, I don't have the Apocalypse Wave Wolverine yet, which is a great figure. I do have the Jim Lee Cyclops, but I love the X Men animated series for the um, when he wore the jacket and he comes with extra heads. And of course, Jean Grey. I missed out on the Puck. Jean Grey, and that one looked a little bit weird anyway because I had a custom. It had the ponytail from Solid Snake uh, Customs, but the fact that we get the this head right here, I mean, both heads look amazing. Like, if I wanted to comic Jean Grey from the 90s, it's this head, but we grew up, us 90s kids grew up on the X-Men animated series, and look at how awesome this is. Look at that art. Yeah, totally 90s Jim Lee X-Men hard right there you got the cards which you i love this box they uh i need to get the polaris and um and havoc a uh, two pack i really want that one but yeah look at you got the stats right here it says x-men jean gray she's five six 110 pounds um first uh, appeared in x-men number one uncanny x-men number one 19 jean gray is incredibly powerful meeting with psychic powers to tell left telepathy no. Telepathy, uh, telepathy and te telekinesis. Oh boy. The artwork on this package is inspired by the iconic trading cards from the early 90s. X Men Wolverine, Logan, 5'3, uh, 195 pounds. Um, uh, first appearance um, in Incredible Hulk number 180, 1981. No, oh, was that 1981? Holy crap. No, that, that could have been 1981. I feel like that they made a mistake on that. Incredible. That that can have been. Was no, Wolverine wasn't like I have to check this out now. I'm like I'm like what? No, that can't be right. Um, so we're, I'm just checking right now. I'm gonna fact check this real quick. You know, I want to know about Wolverine, the comic character. I don't need to know about Wolverine. Yeah, is 1974 okay? Wait, 181. Yeah, they they, they got that mistaken. Um, that was yeah, 1981 wasn't his first appearance. It was 1974. I was right. Yeah, there was yeah, no way. Like I was like, no, he didn't. He was uh, easily the 70s. So yeah, okay, okay. Now back and then X Men Marvel Cyclops. Uh, Scott Summer, 6'3", 164, Uncanny X-Men, 1963. Oh, well, Wolverine, the mutant known as Wolverine, possesses razor-sharp antimantium claws and ability to heal virtually anyone. Uh, Scott Summers can fire optic blasts so powerful that they can only be uh, harnessed by special ruby cord visor. So, love that. Warning, don't choke on your X-Men because you'll be ex extremely... Uh, in pain, in ex extreme pain. But yeah, I love this box set. I can totally see people keeping this in the box, but I'm not one of those people, so let's open it up. I finally have, yeah, for the most part, yeah. Well, unless you, they make, I know they're making a morph, like an Age of Extinction morph. I'm hoping with that morph, it'll come with a 90s X-Men uh, head. Um, like a 90s morph head, X-Men anime series, because what you could do, you can actually put that head on this and you would have a morph figure for the most part because morph looked like Cyclops. Like here, yeah, let me get a picture. Now I'm going to get a picture of morph. X-Men morph. Yeah, when he looked like Changeling. Yeah. I mean they based him on Changeling, but whatever. Uh yeah, whatever. So yeah, they're making a figure of that, but um let's go with 90s morph. X-Men morph. They did such a great job of making me like morph. I didn't know at the time. I mean, 
he was based on a comic character, but I didn't realize that they killed him off um, to make him. Yeah, it was just like they they literally made him look like that so they can kill him off. So I, I thought that was ingenious, you know. Okay, yeah, so, uh, okay, it's not completely like Cyclops. You would, yeah, he needs the yellow right here. So the difference, um, well, yeah. So the to do proper morph, the jacket, yeah, the jacket would need the X right there. And you would need to have the yellow, kind of like, the reverse of Jean Grey's costume, the yellow would be in the middle and the blue. So it kind of be a combination of, of Jean Grey and Cyclops' costume. Because all the X-Men were like variations of the blues and yellows. So yeah. Yeah, like they either had yellow and blue in their costume, you know? So, okay. I, except for Gambit. I mean, that was the thing. Like they all look different. Okay. Did the Terminator blink? Oh no, it becomes self-aware. So yeah, let's open up this. Let's open this up. Oh yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh jeez. Oh man, where do I begin? Who should I begin with first? Well, I'll do it. I'll save Jean for last. Oh man, where do we begin? Okay, let's do Wolverine first. Because I don't... So, I really love that they did this pack because even though we've gone in so many Wolverines, I like that for people that missed out on the, the Apocalypse Way Wolverine like I did, I have the brown costume Wolverine, but I don't have... I have the Red Hulk wave uh, Wolverine, which I love that figure. It's That was my Wolver my Wolverine for the longest time, but this one, you know, because of the hips and the and everything looks great. So what I love about this figure... Oh, crap, his bone clog just came off. Oh, crap, where did he go? Where's his bone claw? Crap. He's missing a bone claw. Don't you hate when this happens, you guys? Huh? So there you go. So be careful when you open it and stuff. You don't have a missing claw like I'm having right now. Ew, what the heck? Where's his claw? Oh, God. Oh, God. It would be like right here, right? Yeah, he has. He's not like a. Uh, X-23 or whatever, like only the two claws. Where is it? it? Is it on me? Don't you hate when you're like opening up things in some small piece? Uh, it's like... I mean, luckily it's for the bone claw ones. It's not like... But yeah, I want to... I don't want to lose it right out of the packaging, you know? Where is it? Where's the bone claw? Dang, my my cat's like have really torn up my my chair. It's not fun. Where's the bone claw? Oh man, you guys. Sorry, I'm just. Is it in the box and I just don't see it? Oh man. Well, that sucks. Um, look for it real quick, you guys. If I can't find it, I'll just look for it later. I don't think it's in the box. 
Where is it? Oh, man. Oh, no, Chili. I just noticed. Oh, wow, that. Hold on, you guys. I have to. I can't believe he did that, Chewy. I'm so pissed. He just like peed on something and then I oh my god. Hold on. Chewy. Bad. Boy. Bad boy. I can't believe you. God damn it. Wow, Chewy. Damn it. Dang it. I can't believe you peed on it. That box is full of hot toys. What the hell, Chewy? Why would you do that? Thank you guys. You can smell a little bit fresh in here. Does it smell like pee? Okay, be right back with you guys. Hold on. Thank you. 
<sighs> okay. Well, I don't know where that bone claw is. Sorry, you guys. Man. I need a vacuum, too. That's what I was doing, like, putting in that little vacuum stuff. Yeah, where did that claw... Maybe as I'm on taking things, I'll, I'll find it. But, yeah, so my Wolverine is missing a bone claw. Sucks. It's a big piece, too. It's not like, you know, it's a tiny piece or whatever. So, but, yeah, this is the age of... No, it, it's the Apocalypse Way Wolverine. Really love the body. Love the boots. And this is the um, battle damage head sculpt. It looks a little very battle damage. And you can even see his hair popping through. And his face is very angry. Really like it. I love his hairy arms. And the, the bone claws look great, even though this, this hand has three and this one has two. So. Yeah, yeah, one of his bone claws broke off apparently. But um, yeah, so he does come with um. Well, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, before so to show this off, and I'll show his accessories. I'll do one by one. Probably love it. So this figure has been out for a while. I mean, the body mold at least. Yeah, I'm trying to see if it like fell on my table or something. I don't think it did. Hold on. Yeah, I don't see it. So I could do the Colossus doing the fastball special. So that's really awesome. Okay, so articulation head can move left, right, rotate. It can look up really good, look down really good. Arms can fully rotate. He has a nice butterfly joint forward and back so you can especially do the uh you know about to um you know claw someone's face off a look and then um arms rotate the shoulder pads on there which i really like they go in and out uh, rotate the bicep and at two points at the elbow but it's really more only like a little past 90 degrees rotate at the wrist goes in and out he has the ab crunch forward crunch back Full waist articulation, the belt heights are really good. Legs can go forward that high, really good. Can go back, you can go in and out that much. Rotate the upper part leg, and two points at the knee. Ankles can pivot Oop. forward. Oh, hold on. Forward, pretty good. Uh, back, really good. It has a nice ankle pivot. So let's show off the accessories since I'll have to exchange it and so not exchange it, but like I uh, just don't know where the um where the uh oh, hopefully I find it where that um missing claw is. I don't know where it is unless it's hidden behind the box or whatever. Or popped out somewhere and I just don't see it. Anyway. Yep, Arm and Hammer is Carpet Saver. Um, so yeah, let's show off some heads. I'll do the claws, so... Ooh! Well, one hand just like flew. At least I have all my claws on these hands. So we got his standard element, el, elementium claws. Adamantium. Ah, I can't talk right now. Okay, so we'll take out the bone claws since I'm especially missing one right now, which sucks. So put in the. Um, yeah, the Age of Apocalypse Wolverine had standard non-claw hands, but you know if you're going to have Wolverine, you're always going to have the claws out. I don't see why you would... It's like getting a Cyclops figure and not having his 
Yeah. Well, I guess he has the sunglasses, but yeah. So yeah, the claws looking good. Can be a little warped and crooked at times, but not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so now show off the head. So you come with his little, his cowl. You put on him like that. And then you can put, he comes with a Logan head. And his head just fell. So we'll put that on. Ugh. I'm not going to put fully on, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Not too bad. Definitely not my favorite head, but it definitely looks good for an unmasked head. Yeah, it's a little high up the, the ball joint and stuff, but yeah, it looks good. I like that he comes with the, the mask. I think that was in the uh, Front Witch figure had the... Uh, and then the standard mask head... The one that most people, especially the ones like me that missed out on the Apocalypse Wave one, will use the the teeth, uh, the fierce looking teeth showing mass Wolverine head. So yeah, so yeah, you can definitely do the uh, claws out things. The bone claws look great. You know, here's the bone claws versus the Almentian claws, but. It's just that without, I'm missing a claw. It looks like it's full on popped out. And I don't know where it is. So I've not seen it in the box. Unless it's like behind Gene or... I don't know where it is. Hopefully I find it. Um, I'm still figuring it out. I'm probably going to work on my Hot Toys display tonight, actually. So Wolverine, awesome. You pretty much, in this pack... Get every way to display Wolverine. Unmasked, battle damage, wood bone claws. Just on the Wolverine alone, awesome pack. I love it. But there's more. So normally we do ladies first, but we're saving the lady for last. Do the... Uh, And the claws out. Hmm. Okay, just trying to. Oh no! Knocked over my Mandalorian and big time Spider Man. Hmm. Oh, Okay, okay. Now let's go next one. Cyclops. All right. So Cyclops, it's um, the only bad thing, just like the, uh, the Warlock one, which I do have that one because, yeah, I love the Jim Lee Cyclops. It's my favorite Cyclops look ever. So this is the bomber jacket Cyclops, um, which he has the X right there. You know, love the jacket. He still has um, his um, bandolier type thing or harness, whatever, shoulder strap. And then it's a darker blue and the yellow is a little different from what I remember. And... He comes with three heads, but yeah, like it's pretty much the same mold minus with the new jacket and different arms. And you get three hands, you get two fists, and um, and then these things always like move around a lot, so you might want to super glue them. That's the only bad thing, but yeah, he looks really great. He's not much different, just the jacket and stuff. If you have that Cyclops, well, that Cyclops is really sought after. Even when I got mine, I was late to it. So I, I got mine for like, I think, my friend it was like 30 or 40 bucks loose, which wasn't too bad. But yeah, because that figure can easily go 
especially brand new, like close to a hundred or more. So I was very lucky to have him. And I didn't care about getting the, I mean, Warlock is cool, but um, Warlock's not a big deal for me right now. So I just wanted that Cyclops. But for people, if you don't have that Cyclops, you finally have him. He just has the jacket. So I like what they're doing with this pack. It really is for people that miss out on those figures. It's like this pack is perfect because if you missed out on those figures, you finally have them in those costumes. And if you do have them already, you get very, like, you get a slight variation like Wolverine with the bone claws and the bow damage helmet or the unmasked head and Cyclops and the bomber jacket, which he used in the show. I remember when he wore that, I was like, oh, cool, he has a jacket on you. Yeah. Yeah, so, but yeah, he looks great. Love the Cyclops. Like I said, it's pretty much like the same Cyclops, just with the added jacket, which is a nice rubbery material. The X, different arms. And I'll get to his accessories. But yeah, let's articulation. His head, ooh, and it pops off pretty easily. It can look up pretty good. The, the, the jacket will hinder him looking up a little bit. It'll look down really good. Move left and right. Arms fully rotate. They go in and out. Rotate at the bicep. He does bend um, 90 degrees at the shoulder. Also rotate, I mean, at the elbow. And uh, he rotates at the elbow, rotates the wrist, go in and out. He does have his out crunch forward and back, but the jacket hinders it a little bit. Rotates at the waist. Legs can go forward and back a little bit. He can go in and out that much. Bends at the knee, moving his legs around, moves his little boot and things around. So watch out, they're just super glue them. And his ankles can pivot forward and back, and he has a nice rowing of forward and back, and he has a nice ankle pivot side to side. Oh, and he has a boot cut rotation too, so that's awesome. I don't think Wolverine had that. Oh, Wolverine also has that too. Yay, for more articulation. I think Spider-Man has it. No, Spider-Man doesn't have that, so. Yeah, surprisingly, the X-Men are more articulated than Spider-Man. How funny. All right. So what's great about Cyclops? Um, he comes just like the, um, the Warlock Wave Apocalypse. I mean, Cyclops. He comes with the visor. And so we'll change this out because a lot of people will pose Cyclops with um, shooting out the his opti optic blast like that. Like very much, yeah. That looks cool. Or just like a cool gesturing hand anyway, like kind of, even if he's not doing it, it's like, X-Men, go! Yeah, so you can... You can use it definitely, but it's mostly like like for yeah for that. Now, what's also great about Cyclops, like I said, because if you have his standard one without the jacket, his gym the gym link style, you get not one but two heads. And what's great about these heads, they're two different hairstyles and two different sunglasses. Ow. They're both, one's like unmasked. Oop, there we go. Still haven't found Wolverine's claw. I hope I find it. So you get two different heads. One looks more like how he looked in the comics, and one looks like, like this one, like how he looked in the cartoon. You have different hair. One's like a little bit more combed, and one's like more, like this one's like in in the sunglasses way. So. It's hard to tell which one I like better. If you if you want this to be like more of a casual Cyclops, then I guess, and you like the animated look more, especially since he wore the jacket in the animated series, yeah. It's like, ugh, there you go. Yeah, this would be the Cyclops. That one looks really good. And you can use this head or even this head as like a <laughs> crap, Matthew, um, Mad Murdock head sculpt. If you wanted to, if you wanted to, 
that definitely, like especially for Daredevil, it could work good, but definitely works good for Cyclops. But we'll put so Cyclops and Wolverine both get two heads. Everyone gets tons of head. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, and I oh yeah, and this is how he looks with the other head. Sorry. Not bad, and like for a comic head too. But let's give him back his a standard uh X-Men head. And there we go. Ready for action. Love this. If I didn't buy that Cyclops, like I would be perfectly okay. Woo! I just knocked over the Mandalorian again. Cyclops hit his rifle. Gotta be careful. So much Hasbro, like went so much Hasbro on my desk right now. Now, last but not least, ah, oh, <laughs> because she always had to make a like. Sound like she was orgasming. Jean! We got the beautiful, my favorite all time look, Jean Grey, 90s Jim Lee era Jean Grey. Now, this is her comic head. It's very beautiful uh, compared to what we saw. This one has her kind of like looking like very, like I know some. Famous, like there's some actresses or models that always have that kind of like showing their teeth, but they're not exactly smiling. They're just kind of like, you know, like that. And that's what she's like. She's doing it's like very pouty, showing their teeth, beautiful green eyes. Love that hair, very long hair. This is a brand new body. I think they just used like the gauntlets and the hands. Doesn't have paint and nails like last time, but it's cool. It has. Pretty accurate costume has the belt. I think the belt's the same as last one. I don't own that figure. I only had the custom. The nice sh uh, shoulder pads are different. Way better head sculpt just on this one alone. And she has the new hips, the new female hips, not the old ones that were really bad. And she has like the added pouches, I guess, and the blue. Most people that are getting in this pack are getting it for this gene because that that Puck series gene was so hard to get. Was it Puck? I think it was Puck. Yeah. It was either Puck or Rocket, Rocket Raccoon. Um, yeah, someone in the comments let me know. But this Jean Grey, even if you have tons of Wolverines and you had that other Cyclops, people will get it just for that. Just to have the variation of, Jean, of, of Cyclops and Wolverine. But for me that missed out on that Wolverine, and for me that loves that version of Cyclops, I don't mind at all because... I can use this one, put like a like unmasked Cyclops head, yeah, you know, or just yeah. I can alternate looks and stuff. This jean is beautiful. I love it so much. Now, before I'm actually gonna switch out cheap because the fact they did this makes me so happy. They included something that all '90s kids want. They give us the ponytail Jean Grey, which looks beautiful. Nice pouty lips. Very beautiful. Love that ponytail. Very long and luscious. And even the masks are different because this is more her comic mask, whereas the X-Men one, like the cheekbones you can see are like, it, it, it's more uh, angled versus like the more rounded uh, one. So yeah, this one like, Hides her cheeks a little bit more. It angles it. So both are beautiful. Ideally, I love to have both. The but I don't want to kind of do like '90s X-Men cartoon and '90s X-Men comic. They're both the same to me. They're just slightly different. Jean is the prime example. I could just always alternate and choose the heads, but because I really love both looks, she looks beautiful like this, and I love her ponytail look. But as an 90s X-Men cartoon fan, we're going to put the ponytail head on. Yes. And there we got our beautiful, beautiful 90s X-Men animated series, Jean Grey. All right. So let's get to articulation, which is different from 
the um, puck one. I think that was puck. Was it puck? I'm. I, I have to know this. Anyone tell me which which wave it was? Um, I'm gonna find that out, guys. Sorry, I'm. I'm one of those people. We live in a age of the internet, and I have to find out, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I know. I know all the history about the making of the X-Men. They got Canadian actors that were X in Broadway. That's why they're they are very dramatic. They they were legit actors voicing those characters. They weren't just not that voice actors aren't actual actors, but you know, it was very awesome and they were all Canadian too. So yeah. So let's see here. I need to I need to find out what, what Jean, okay. Marvel Legends. Jean Grey. Uh, Puck. Wave. What wave was that? Okay, I'm fine, yeah. And go on eBay. This figure went for like 100 bucks. Oh, yeah, it was the Rocket Raccoon wave. I was right, yeah. Puck was like Emma Frost, yeah. Well, that wave originally was, oh man, that was the uh, Scarlet Spider. Wow. Black Panther, modern Hawkeye. And man, this is, and this is before Gar Guardians of the Galaxy came out. Crazy, man. So many years ago. Okay, so yeah. Way better than the Rocket Raccoon wave, Jean Grey. And then she has a little tattoo right there. But <laughs> So let's see articulation. When you have this head sculpt, uh, her hair, it feels like her hair can, I can't tell. The way that it looks like, it looks like, okay, no. Her hair is immovable. Just be very careful. It's, it's a little bit pliable and it, could, it looks like it can break off. So be very, very careful. It's just pliable, so be careful. Don't, it looks like mine, yeah, because when I took it out, so just be very careful. The head can rotate fully with this hair. The other one's hard. You can look up really good with this one. Look down, a little side pivot. Her arms, because um, of the shoulder pads, you kind of have to angle them. Um, which isn't too bad, you know, because uh, the way her shoulders are, it's kind of like you have to. It can go in and out all the way. Uh, she does bend at the elbow 90 degrees and rotates at the elbow, rotates at the wrist, goes in and out. Has that diaphragm joint that fully rotates, goes forward, back really good. The waist joint, legs can go forward really high. It can... Really, it can't really go back that much unless it's at an angle. And her, she only goes in and out that much. I wish that they make them a little bit better for rotating and going out. Rotate the upper part of the leg, bend at two points at the knee. And ankles can pivot forward and back. And she has a beautiful ankle pivot. So, yes, we got her Jean Grey, you guys. Yeah, she doesn't come with extra hands or, like, accessories but yeah like i do wish that she did have double joint elbows just to make like the psychic um just to make it a little bit easier like i especially want her to like touch her head a little bit more it's kind of like looks like she's doing just i want like to do like where she was like doing that but it's just kind of hard without the double joints you know yeah, and I, or I just wish her hands could go out a little bit more. But you can almost do it. If you kind of just, like, angle it, it kind of looks like she's doing it, right? Yeah. But she's so beautiful, and I'm so happy to finally have my non-custom, actually Hasbro made 90s Jean Grey with a ponytail. And there you go, you guys. My 90s X-Men 
Uh, I got this at GameStop, but you can get this right now. You can get a Big Bad Toy Store for, I believe it was $62. Yeah, let me check real quick. Um, yeah, $62.99. Not too bad. A little over $20 per figure, which is the norm right now for Marvel Legends. Um, totally recommend this, you guys. It's a must get. If you're a 90s... Oh, no. Ah. Of course, I have to knock over th everything over. Hold on a sec. And I still haven't found that that claw. I don't think it's... Where the hell did it go, man? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, hopefully, I find that claw, you guys. Ugh. Thank you, Anthony. So, yeah, you guys, so got some great figures, man. Um, that Broly figure is amazing. I'm so happy to have the Mandalorian. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy to have my 90s X-Men. Sucks that my Wolverine is missing one of his bone claws. I hope I can find it somewhere. I don't know where the hell it went. No idea where it went. Really sucks. Yeah, it's not. Don't see where it went at all. But um, Whew. but yeah, I'm. All these figures are awesome. So that's a great birthday haul. Man, I've gotten some of my favorite figures in a long time just from this year. Like getting Marvel Legends updated versions of characters I love like Nightcrawler and Colossus and um, Gambit, um, Jubilee. So many 90s X-Men characters in their 90s outfits. I'm so happy. Oh, dang. Yeah, my, my big time badass Spider Man. So awesome. Oh, yeah. I love it, you guys. I love it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, if there's any last questions uh, before I wrap it up, I've been doing this show for almost two hours now. Probably would have been shorter if I didn't lose that claw, which I still don't know where it is. Yeah. Hopefully I find it. Oh, and it'd also be nice if I don't knock over a bunch of action figures. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. No! Don't you just hate when you set up a whole bunch of figures and then everything just gets knocked down? Oh no. Yeah, come on, you guys.
Dang it. Ah, uh, okay. Any questions? Yeah, put these accessories and baggies in. <sighs> oh yeah, it's been it's been rough, Steve, but it's gone better. Just trying to pose. Okay, cool. Awesome. Take a little picture. I'll take it after I turn off the lane. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to have a new video series hopefully premiering this week, you guys. And I got the video about the Terminator 2 Judgment Day Pure Arts T-800 Endoskeleton Mask Replica. So be sure to check that out. And check out purearts.com and like them on Facebook follow them. and you can get all these figures I just showed off at bigbadtoystore.com. Link is in the description. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining. If you want to support the channel, especially to support awesome videos that are coming in the future, you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sean next long. Uh, even contributing a dollar every month really helps. But also, um, I'll have new perks soon coming up, so stay tuned for that. And... Hey guys, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for watching my live show. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. I really pre appreciate it so much, you guys. You guys are awesome. And stay tuned and uh, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long. Remember to live long and love life.